Hello everybody, Max Roberts here from Go Left Gaming with vlog number 22, a whole nearly two years after the last vlog. Guilty is charged, life happened, things happened, and I should probably detail those things in a a follow-up uh, vlog, not a blog. A vlog. Uh, it's been, it's been a while. How are you? How are you? Um, where, where have I been? I have been caught up in the event that's called life and vlog but i'm at the point at the end of my semester trying to get back into the groove of things and creating content for people to read i've been doing a podcast now for over a year called millennial gaming speak uh it's going we're on episode 76 is getting ready to publish this week and a lot has happened since the last vlog and instead of detailing all of that now uh, i just want to dive into my topic that i want for this week which is the nintendo switch nintendo's brand new home console and how i'm affording one the nintendo switch cost 299 us dollars uh, and comes out here on march 3rd which is roughly seven weeks away from the time of this recording there's always something cool about being on the cutting edge of the latest and greatest technology uh, I've got the iPhone 7 and the new, the the shiny Apple Watches, and, you know, I've got my Xbox, my PlayStation, I've got PlayStation, you know, I try to be on the cutting edge, and a part of that, besides it being cool and hip, is for work. Last time I did a vlog, I wasn't doing that. I freelance for IGN now, and a part of that is just being up to date and current, it really helps getting work um not that having the coolest stuff guarantees work it's it's freelance you know, it's whenever they need me but it's a part of it and when i look at 299 us dollar 300 dollars it's 300 when i look at that and i go how am i going to afford that on a currently unemployed salary with college getting ready to wrap up and life is getting ready to move on um saving up to get married see a lot has happened since the last vlog three hundred dollars not out of the blue i knew the switch was coming but not within the budget is very difficult to justify the so it comes down to what do i sell to be a part of that is selling said object or objects worth being right there on the edge i imagine most gamers feel nostalgia or it's high uh, strong bond to their products especially when it's a physical media and particularly a console because a console encompasses everything you do on the system it's not singular like a game it is the portal to all of these experiences so in the end i I decided to to sell my Wii U and my my second 3DS. My second 3DS. Some of you will remember I did an unboxing of the Majora's Mask new 3DS XL. I uh, still have that and I love it. And I still had my old blue one. GameStop had a pretty good deal for for GameStop, uh, an extra seventy five dollars for a Wii U and an extra thirty dollars for a standard regular OG 3DS. So that brings the totals up to $195 for a Wii U and $120 for an original 3DS. Um, that right there covers the Switch and then some. Throwing in the Wii U games, notably Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, Mario Maker, 3D World, um, Twilight Princess. Throwing those games in covers Breath of the Wild. Big launch title for the Switch, and I decided to go for the Master's Edition because I have no self-control when it comes to statues, inanimate objects that adorn my shelves. Can I... We're going to rotate ever so slightly. You can kind of see it. I have some amiibo, and behind it are all that stuff up there. But anyway, I decided to do it, and it's it was particularly difficult for me because the strong bond I feel, the, the memories and the ability to play with friends to these systems. The 3DS wasn't as difficult. It's it's a secondary. It was a backup. Um, my girlfriend had it, and she wasn't really using it. Um, and we agreed it was okay to share the new shiny 3DS instead of, I, just, I didn't just rip it out of her hands and go, ha 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 
I'm buying a Switch. And the Wii U particularly was hard, but I think a part of what made it easy to justify was the fact so many Wii U ports are coming to Switch. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, heavily rumored Smash Brothers, Splatoon 2, which is, in my humble opinion, Splatoon 1.5. Totally okay with that. I just, it's it's weird it's called 2. It'd be like if Far Cry Primal was called Far Cry 5. Clearly, like, strong contenders there. Mario Maker is, uh, is something I've said in the past on my podcast, Millennial Game and Speak. Mario Maker cannot die on the Wii U. It's too good. In the end, that's what I decided to do. I decided to kind of give up my memories and double dip again, which I'm sure Nintendo is pleased with. So I could be on that cutting edge and hopefully for work, but also because it's really cool and it feels good it feels good like to be honest it feels good to be first and it feels good to have something new and shiny and to be able to use it and to share it with people and that's a huge part of what i want why i want to write about video games i want to share that i want to share the new the shiny the cool with other people i want to share big games with people i want to share these worlds and these stories and experiences and it kind of all comes down to, like I said, the hardware, which is the portal. It's the gateway to all of this stuff. And so that's why I decided to sell my Wii U and 3DS for the Nintendo Switch. And that was something I wanted to get off my chest and share with people. I don't know. It just feels good. I've got a couple of blog posts about the Switch, which you can find over on goleftgaming.wordpress.com. I talked about predictions and what Nintendo needs to do to succeed uh, before the Switch event happened, and then I've written up a comment about the negativity surrounding the Switch. There's kind of a negative cloud surrounding the Switch. It's kind of making it a rainy day over there. I talked about that a little bit, and I have another blog post going up uh, tomorrow from this recording, so actually probably the day this is up about just switch news and kind of what you need to know about the switch if you don't already some other things covering switch if you just really want to dive into this pool of switch knowledge podcast that i've mentioned previously uh, millennial gaming speak we just did um our first live reaction to anything you can find that on the youtube channel for that show which is millennial gaming speak on youtube you can find it there a live reaction of the press conference so you can watch it along with us and react uh, if you haven't seen it yet you could also listen to that podcast, uh, the live reaction, which is on our SoundCloud page or on iTunes if you just search for Millennial Gaming Speak. And episode 76 is going up this week as well. It should be Wednesday the 18th. The Wednesday of this week. Uh, episode 76 is going up with my c the host, co-host, Logan Moore. You can find him on Twitter at moreman 12 and we had a special guest, Peter Spasia, from formerly from Show Me Your News. He's now with Rhymes with Asia, and he has a new podcast called The Power Switch. And he is on episode 76 of Millennial Gaming Speak to talk about the Switch and break it all down with us and just kind of how we feel about Nintendo, where they are as a company, and the Switch itself. So it's going to be a really great, exciting episode. It was a pleasure to record it. That's it. Yeah, that's kind of vlog 22. Hopefully there's more coming. I, I've learned a lot about committing to things kind of blanket ideas in my head and not saying things out loud so 22 we'll just this is vlog 22 we'll call it season two and i think that's it you can follow me on twitter at max the white make sure you like share and subscribe this video you can check out all the other videos um i don't just do vlogs here i've got some live streams archived and other sorts of videos and unboxings and breakdowns and hopefully more of those are to come. You can also check out my blog work, my written work over at uh, goleftgaming.wordpress.com where I write uh, vlogs, reviews, and whatnot. Our blog, you don't write vlogs. I guess I guess you could script a vlog. You write blogs, reviews, and features, and kind of thought pieces, opinions, and all of that jazz. I also do wiki work over for IGN and write some guides. So maybe I helped you out with The Witcher 3. Uh, possibly uh, the most recent one I did was Telltale's Batman so you could check that work out too if you would like thank you all for watching very much make sure again to hit that subscribe button and that like button and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day